Hi and welcome back to another devlog episode. It's Monday morning and I'm starting the day off by just writing down everything I want to do on Trello. I feel like this is nice because it gives me an overview of the things I want to do and also how I prioritize them. And the first thing I have on my list today is working on the enemies. Because two devlog episodes ago I showed off a thief enemy, but he no longer works because he's using the old movement script and I've made a completely new one. So I have to remake the enemies uh, and that's what I'll be starting off today with. Okay, so the thief is now up and going again. He doesn't really have his thief mask yet, but that's fine. I'll fix that later probably. Uh, only problem is he's not very smart, so he might end up running into a pit and dying. But I'll fix that later. Uh, I've also made it so that if you knock him out and he loses his weapon, he's gonna start running away, which is quite fun, and if he finds another weapon, he'll pick that up and start fighting again. But for now, I'm gonna go eat some lunch and I'll be back after I get some food. I want to make the world feel a bit more alive, so I've made a particle effect of leaves falling down, which I think looks pretty cool, and I'm gonna add these to the trees, and hopefully we'll get a pretty cool result. So here's what it looks like in-game, I'm probably gonna tweak it a little bit, but I'm happy with how it looks for now. Uh, I also tried adding a bit more enemies, but it turned out it lagged really bad, which is a problem because this game is meant to be played with at least four players and a lot of enemies, so I need to figure out why my FPS is so low here. So I've opened up the profiler, which is actually an amazing tool, and you can tell it's lagging because of the physics, which is no surprise, but I need to figure out exactly why this is happening so I can fix the issue. Um, but it's getting kind of late, so I'm gonna hit the sack and tomorrow I'll try and fix this issue. It's Tuesday and I'm gonna pick up where I left off yesterday and try and figure out why it was lagging so bad. So I've done a lot of research and written down a little list of things that could be causing the lag and I'm gonna go ahead and fix all of these issues. Before getting on with the actual fixes I tried upping the time step and um, that didn't quite work out very well so I don't think that's an option. Okay, so I've basically spent all day working on this now and here's a little stress test. You can tell there's eight enemies and it's not lagging at all, and previously I only had three enemies on screen and it was lagging really bad. So basically what I did, and I'm not going to go into all of the details because very few of you are going to actually be interested in that, um, but there are three main points you can take from this, and that is polygon colliders, very bad, continuous hit detection, very bad, and layer matrix collision should be reduced as much as possible. So quite a boring day today, but I feel like I got a lot done and tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun because I'll be adding a brand new enemy. It is Wednesday my dudes and it's time to test my new movement system and one of the best ways to do that is make a new character and this time we're making an enemy that is kind of like a mini boss, it's actually going to be a troll and you can see him in Illustrator here, so I'll try and implement this into the game and see how well that works. So here he is in game, he's a big boy, he doesn't really know how to fight yet, but I'll implement that later. Uh, but before I go any further with the troll, I want to implement an idea from a viewer who asked me if I could make a shield. And that should be fairly easy, so I want to get that out of the way real quick and then get back to working on the troll. And here is the result, I've added a shield and you can't really use it for much yet, uh, basically you can just block attacks and push people back, uh, but I want to make it a bit more functional, so maybe you can like throw it at people and be like Captain America, because that would be pretty cool. So uh, I'll be looking into implementing that, but now I want to get back at working on the troll. And I want to give him a weapon and I'm thinking he's gonna get a big ass club and he can basically smosh the players with it. So that's the plan. So here he is with his club. Uh, he's not very good at using it yet so I have to fix that. Also I want to change the hitboxes because currently they're only out after you do an attack. But I want him to be out all of the time so if a weapon is moving fast without you actually hitting the attack button you can still deal damage. So I'll be working on improving the hitboxes now. I ran into a couple of problems trying to fix the hitboxes. Things got a bit a bit weird so to say but um I've fixed it now and everything should be good so that's really going to be it for today and tomorrow I'll have some more things to work on.
It's Thursday today and I'm starting off the day by implementing some more viewer feedback. Uh, so he asked if I could make the melee have more impact and I totally agree it feels kind of tame right now so I'm gonna add a blood splatter that is the color of the stick man and also some camera shake because you can never go wrong with camera shake. Now the idea for the blood splatter is basically find a position that you hit the other player and spawn a blood splatter right there and then also get the color of that player and make the blood splatter that color. And here's the result of the blood splatter. You can see when he hits the blue player, there's blue blood. And when he hits the pink player, there should be pink blood. So everything's working fine in that regard. Now I want to work on the camera shake. The camera shake is now done and implemented. And essentially the harder you hit someone, the more damage you're going to deal. And also the more camera shake is going to be on screen. So I'm really happy I got this suggestion because it looks really good. And it feels like the melee combat has a lot more impact now, which is great. Now that that is out of the way, I am going to continue on working with the troll. So I want to give him a new attack where he rips players apart. Um, but the problem is he's not strong enough to rip them apart yet. So I'm going to have to give him some help. And after doing that, he can now rip players apart, which looks pretty cool. But that's going to be it for today. I'm pretty happy with today's progress. And hopefully I'll be able to be as efficient tomorrow as well. It's a beautiful Friday morning and I have a lot to do today, so let's just get into it. Now, the first thing I did today was give the troll some more clothes because he looked a bit naked and I feel like he looks much better now. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm probably going to fine tune it a bit and make them a bit more detailed, but I just wanted to experiment and see if I could actually add clothing to the game. I've also fixed an issue where if one player was thrown off the screen very quickly, then the whole camera really messed up and threw all of the players away. So that issue has now been fixed. But now I'm gonna work on something completely different and that is I want it to be so you can keep playing even though you lose body parts, which is part of the fun of being able to lose body parts. But there are some problems. As you can tell, you kind of ascend once you lose your body parts. So I need to make it so that you recalculate the mass of the player whenever you lose a body part and then you can kind of keep playing even though you lost an arm or your head or well I guess if you lose your head you kind of die but you get the idea. So here is the result you can now remove basically any body part uh, except for the head because if you remove the head you pretty much die but if you remove any other body part then you'll still be able to keep on going which is a lot of fun so for example you lose your foot and you'll have to just run with one foot through the entire level or if you lose both of your feet then you'll, for example, have to hang on to your teammates back to keep moving through the level or you have to crawl all the way to the finish. So I think this adds for a lot of fun uh, gameplay wise and just overall it's uh, I really like this feature. Before I go to bed, I want to work on one more ground part. So essentially what I want to do is make several different parts for the ground and then randomly generate them all together so that each time you play the map, it will be different. You know, there will be different enemies, different maps to go through. Uh, and, and just I think that will add a lot more fun and diversity instead of playing through the same map every single time. So you can see the bridge in game here. Um, I definitely need to do some more work on it. I just quickly threw this together tonight, um, but I think I will continue on it tomorrow. So that's really going to be it for today. And I'm going to go hit the sack now. It's a beautiful snowy Saturday and I am about to start working on the game. So the first thing I want to do today is add a kind of smoke dust particle effect that shoots up whenever the player hits the ground, uh, which I think would look pretty cool and, and give the running a bit more feel. So that's the first thing we're doing. And here is the result. It looks fairly cool. It's just some particle effects shooting up. It's very subtle, but I'm pretty happy with it. I might make it so when you run on the grass, you shoot up grass particles. And when you run on like stone, you shoot up smoke or dust. Uh, but I'll look into that later. Uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with this. And I want to start working more on the giant because he doesn't really feel very impactful yet. So I want to make it so when he's coming, walking towards you, the whole camera like kind of shakes. So it's very impactful because currently he doesn't really feel like a big boy. He just kind of feels like, like an overgrown baby. Uh, so... I want to make him kind of shake the screen and be much more terrifying. 
And here is the effect in action. So you can tell when the troll is coming, the whole screen is kind of shaking, uh, which is quite cool because you kind of know that the giant is coming instead of him just jumping you out of nowhere, which, you know, in, in classic game design, you probably shouldn't have an enemy come out of nowhere and just smack you up. So uh, now you kind of have an indication that the troll is coming and you should probably, probably watch out because he's going to smack you up. So I'm quite happy with this effect. The next problem I want to tackle today is the fact that enemies don't know that other enemies exist. They only know about the players. Uh, the reason this is a problem is because I can't add interaction between enemies. So I want the trolls and the thieves to fight because obviously they're not friends, uh, but they're not fighting. So I need to add all of the enemies into a container which holds all of the enemies. And then I need to pass this around to all of the enemies. So I'm probably gonna have to do some reflective programming here, but hopefully it won't take me too long. And we're done, just like that. So basically now the thieves will not attack each other, but they will attack the troll, uh, which is pretty cool behavior and all of them will also attack the players. It took me some time, but I'm very happy with the implementation. Basically, I made a list of types because you can apparently do that. And then I just pass all of the types that I want the specific enemy to ignore. So very cool stuff, um, but I'm really tired now. So I'm probably going to hit the sack and hopefully uh, get some more work done tomorrow. It's finally Sunday and I'll be spending the day editing together this video and then I'm gonna probably relax a bit because it's been a very hectic week and I've gotten a lot of stuff done so I'm very happy about that. Uh, also, massive thank you for 1000 subscribers, that's absolutely insane. Uh, it just kind of happened overnight which is absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, big ups to you guys, that's actually crazy. Uh, and, and yeah, that's, that's probably it, I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.